Welcome to part six of my Ultimate Doom Builder tutorial series. Still playing with our little Doom 2 UAC tech base thing and called a, you know, creatively called Map 01. This video, I want to start looking at, you know, getting a room in here inside our building. And we're also going to look at some windows and doors. So to recap, go back to visual mode. This is what we've got going on. Just a little outdoor starting area. Nothing too fancy, it's very much a doom. But there's nothing in here. This door is a lie, that's just a texture. So I'm gonna go to here and we're gonna make a room in here. Actually, I'm gonna make the door first. This surface, or this line right here, is our door. So if I look at that, you know, that's this UAC thing. You can also see that here. I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna make this 128 by 16. And that's gonna be our actual door sector. And then here on the other side, let's just, uh, I don't know, draw something kind of like this. I don't know what I'm doing. This is very stream of consciousness. Now if I look in visual mode, it copied that door texture all over the place because why wouldn't you? So, it's kind of ugly. But <laughs> We'll, we'll fix that. We'll fix that as we go along. Um, we should make this door work. So I can see right here, I got the ceiling highlighted. This is our door sector. So I guess this will be the door tutorial part of the series. Now this is going to be a couple tropes of mine. I tend to use flat 20 on the ceiling for any uh, UAC doors. I do that, bring it down a little bit, copy and paste this because that's the texture we want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select those. First thing I'm going to do, change the texture to door track, which kind of looks like a sliding door thing. But we're going to take this door, I'm going to bring this all the way down to the floor so that it's shut. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set up a couple divider textures. We're going to make this eight, eight. And we're going to use door stop for this. I've been mapping enough that I have a lot of texture names memorized and I can just type them without having to search them. You'll get there. So if you look at this, there's just this little gray bar here. And I think on the other side, we're going to put some lights on the other side. We'll make this a couple 16 segments. Or no, let's not do lights. Let's, let's go back to support three. So we'll make these 24. Grab this, this, change those to support three. Make sure texture offset zero, and there's kind of our standard dividing texture for this. Then uh, grab all these. This is really ugly. Let's go ahead and fix this. And let's make the interior of our base. Let's use like one of the star textures. So let's just go with, we'll keep it old school. We'll do star tan two. Baby's first tech base, right? Everything's Star Tan too. Honestly, I like Star Tan. It it gets a bad rap, and it's undeserved in my mind. It looks good as long as it's not your only texture. So we have a door, and this is not gonna work, obviously. So if I just launch Crispy Doom up here, I mean, it looks good. Looks like a door. It does nothing. So now we're gonna look at line def actions. We have not touched these yet. First thing I see, I need to make sure the lines are pointed outward. Okay, I'm gonna select, these These are our two door lines, front and the back, select them, right click. And down here, this is your action area. This is what defines, you know, special things that can happen in the level if the player decides to interact with that. Or a monster, monsters can interact as well. Now there's a whole list here, or you can click this little button here and get uh, this guy that, you know, let me zoom in a little. This kind of filters them down and gives you, you know, there's some ceiling actions, some crusher actions, door, level exit, and so on. So we're gonna look at the door category and there's a bunch of options here. So I guess I'll go ahead and kind of explain these. Now the, there's a number. So these numbers, you'll learn a few of those as you continue mapping, especially the common ones. That's actually done in the map, you know, the map format. And that number is attached to the line def. And that's just a code for this item. So. We'll look here, you know, this is number one. 
If I knew that, I could just go here, type action one, and that's automatically gonna be this DR, door open, wait, close, also monsters. So as you're learning actions and you get them memorized, you can just type them in and, you know, save yourself some time. But right now, let's assume you don't know that. Next thing to look at is you see this DR, W1, DR, D1, S1, SR, GR, W1, I might have called that one out. The first character tells you what it is. So D stands for door. And you just interact with the line with a door, as, you know, with the space bar, and it's going to do a door thing to the back side of the line def. So, you know, look at the full screen here. These lines are pointed outward to so this one here. You can see the little flag is pointed that way. And this one is pointed that way. So if I put a door action on them, that is something that starts with the letter D. When you hit spacebar, it's going to interact with the sector that is behind it. So since this one is pointed here, it's going to interact with this sector and treat it as a door. If this one is pointed to the left, it's going to interact with the sector behind it on the right. The R tells you it's repeatable. You know, if you have one-shot actions, repeatable actions, the R tells you this can only, this can be done an unlimited number of times. Whereas there should be yeah, D1, door open, stay. That one can only be interacted with once. The player opens that door, they're never going to be able to open again if something shuts it. Now that says door open stay, so it's not going to shut on its own. There may be a D1 door open close. I don't know. You can filter up here too. So if I just wanted to see the D1 actions, I'll type D1. Door open stay. Um, we've got some with keys and a fast version. I change this to DR. Here's all the repeatable door actions. So you can see some of them have keys blue, yellow, red. There's also a fast one. I think this was added with Doom 2. Those doors open faster, but monsters can't open them. But your standard door type is going to be type 1, DR, door open, wait, close, also monsters. So we're just going to choose that. Hit OK. Save it and launch our game engine. Now we have a working door. And it's going to wait a few seconds and then shut. If you see how these edges are moving with the door, that's usually considered a newbie mistake. And if you leave those in, people are going to complain. So I'll show you how to fix that. First, go to visual mode. Open the door up a little so I can see. I'm going to grab these door track sectors, and I'm just going to set lower unpegged. And what that's going to do is it's no longer going to follow the ceiling as it moves. So if I launch the game, Now those don't move. So it's good practice, you know, unless you really know what you're doing and there's an effect you're trying to achieve, make sure your door line def sector, uh, your the walls on the outside of your door are lower unpegged. So I think that about covers it for doors. Um, I think that's probably good for this segment length. So stick around, wait for the next video, and we'll detail this interior a little bit. So